Hey, good morning, Bible friends. It's nice to be with you, although remotely. Uh, in this time of unprecedented change, there are some things that, that, that don't change, like Bible themes class, wearing a black vest, collared shirt, and we got the cross on. To be honest, no khakis today. I'm doing the green hiking pants. Sorry about that change. Now, here is the P-L-A-N for today. I'm going to give you notes on three people, Ruth, Samuel, and King Saul. Uh, you need to take those notes, so if you don't have a printed copy or a digital copy right now, I would pause this recording and get that ready. Now, with your notes, uh, you're going to submit those on Edmodo Plan A. If that doesn't work, it's fine to email them to me. Uh, this is part of your assignment. On Tuesday, yes, Tuesday, I'm going to uh, have another video, uh, notes on the life of David. Uh, you'll need to submit those notes as well as an assignment, and then write two reflection paragraphs. I'll give you more uh, directions on that on Tuesday. Uh, so academically, that's it for Bible themes. Uh, the notes today, submit those. The notes Tuesday, submit those and a simple two-paragraph reflection. Devotionally, of course, I want to encourage you to stay reading God's Word, maybe continue in the book of Psalms, um, and I encourage you to continue to seek God in prayer uh, through these uncertain times. Uh, well, that's it for now. Uh, let's move on to the book of Ruth. Ruth and the Kinsman Redeemer. Ruth stays with and cares for Naomi. So if you want to write that down, Ruth stays with and cares for Naomi. Uh, Ruth is the Moabitess daughter-in-law. Ruth is the Moabitess daughter-in-law of Naomi. And both of them are widowed. So Ruth is from the town of Bethlehem. And when Bethlehem had a famine, did I say Ruth? Naomi. Naomi is from the town of Bethlehem, not Ruth. Uh, Naomi and her husband went to Moab where there was food, but this was leaving the promised land. So you have uh, Elimelech and then Naomi. Now they had two sons, and uh, those sons ended up marrying Moabite women. Um, unfortunately, all of the sons died. And Elimelech died. Uh, now Naomi has uh, two daughter-in-laws, um, Orpah and Ruth. And uh, Orpah stays in Moab, but Ruth comes with Naomi. And once the famine stopped in Bethlehem, they then returned to Bethlehem. Uh, they returned to Israel and Ruth gathers food for Naomi. They return to Israel, and Ruth gathers food for Naomi. This is called gleaning. So the harvesters uh, were not allowed, if they were godly, were not allowed to go over the field a second time or reap the edges of the field. The purpose was to provide food for the poor. And so Ruth and Naomi were, were dirt poor, and Naomi went to gather uh, food. Now Ruth happened, happened, let's say providentially happened, to go to the field of Boaz. And Boaz was a very kind man, and he respected Ruth for helping Naomi so much. Uh, to fast forward the story, 
uh, Ruth ends up marrying Boaz. And Boaz becomes the kinsman redeemer. Boaz, the kinsman redeemer. And this points to Jesus. Uh, The new NIV says guardian redeemer. The ESV says just redeemer. And the NLT says family redeemer. The point is, Boaz was a relative who was going to save not only uh, Naomi and Ruth, but to save the family line of Naomi's husband and to save the family property. So a child between Boaz and Ruth Uh, legally would be in Elimelech's line and legally would inherit uh, Elimelech, that is Naomi's husband, would inherit his property. Now here's how Boaz, the kinsman redeemer, points to Jesus. The purpose of the kinsman redeemer in ancient society, as I previously said, was to keep the family name and property. So the purpose... To keep family name and property. Uh, The Goel, or kinsman redeemer, that's the Hebrew for kinsman redeemer, uh, has to be related by blood. must be able to pay the price of redemption and must be willing to redeem. The point here is that Jesus was a human. We are not saved by the blood of animals, sheep and goats. We are saved by the blood of Jesus, who is fully man. Jesus was also able to pay the price of salvation. Because Jesus is also God, he is holy, and is the spotless Lamb of God, can pay for our sin. And then Jesus is willing to redeem. John 17 says that, uh, or Jesus says, I lay down my life willingly. Uh, And then finally, for Ruth, Ruth is the great grandmother of David. Quite amazing that this Moabite woman is in David's family line. Before we move on from Ruth, I want to highlight something found in Matthew chapter 1 where we find the genealogy from Abraham to David to Jesus, the royal genealogy for the kingdom of Israel. In this genealogy, which follows the line of the male, we see four women mentioned. First, Tamar, then Rahab, next Ruth, and finally, Uriah's wife, who was Bathsheba. Tamar, dressed up as a prostitute and slept with her father-in-law, Judah. Uriah, who is Bathsheba, was the woman whom David committed adultery with. And so we have these two women in which there is a sexual sin involved. The other two women are not Hebrew women. And royal Hebrew line was supposed to be pure. So we see here that despite human failures and shortcomings and sin, God still graciously works in his people to accomplish his purposes. 
And this is true for your life as well. God Almighty wants to graciously work within you to accomplish his beautiful purposes. Amen to that.